Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and it's time for another 3D print. Now this time, I'm making the final starter from Pokemon Sun and Moon. If you have not seen already, I have created Rowlet, the grass type, and Litten, the fire type. Um, they're actually sitting behind me on my desk, and if you want to see the videos for those, check the little eye up in the corner. So that leaves only one more. This is the water type, Poplio. Let's get started. I created this model in Fusion 360 using the sculpting tools, just like I did for the other two starters. But this time I chose to keep things a little bit separate. Um, I created the head as a sphere and then the nose I created as a cylinder and just closed off one of the ends of it and then put another sphere for the nose. And then um, I built the body separately and all the arms separately um, as these sculpting forms. And that way I could adjust them and not have to worry about the relationship between them as I moved things around. And then after I had all the basic shapes there, I exited the sculpt environment and moved into sketches to put on the finishing details. Then I exported it as an STL file and sent it over to my Robo 3D R1 printer. I printed this at a 0.1 millimeter layer height with 20% infill. And I did use supports and a raft. Now this one can actually be kind of tricky to print. You will need a lot of supports, uh, mostly because of the frills around his neck. Then after it was done printing, I handed it off to my wife for post-processing. She removed all the supports and sanded down any rough areas. And once the model was at an acceptable point, she moved on to priming it. She just used an automotive fill primer for this, and that just helps kind of seep in and fill the print line gaps. It doesn't do it perfectly, but it definitely helps. And then she moved on to painting it. Uh, she pretty much painted the whole thing using paintbrushes and water-based acrylic paint. She started with the main blue color. Once she had that mixed, she applied it to the whole body. And then from there, she moved on to painting the white color of his nose and eyes and the lighter blue of the frills around the neck. And then without further ado, here we have Poplio. Now, I think this turned out amazing. It looks perfect. She matched the color spot on and it printed really well too. I actually tried this at first using mesh mixer supports, um, just letting it generate supports on its own. And that worked okay. I should have put a raft in there or something because some of the supports popped off the bed um, and obviously without supports there it couldn't print right. So that one failed. But then I decided to go in and just do the full supports with uh, matter control and that worked out pretty good. It was just a little bit harder to remove because there was so much more of it. And then actually I did want to talk about one of the post-processing techniques we tried out this time. Um, and it was a form of wet sanding. After she applied the primer and it dried, um, she took some sandpaper and just ran it under some water and um, lightly sanded the surfaces. And we're not 100% sure about this, but it seemed um, to fill the cracks a little bit. And my only thought on that is the debris that you're kicking up while sanding it just kind of moved into those fill lines with the water and stayed there. Because I don't know if you can see that, but it is almost perfectly smooth up here and it's smooth to the touch. Um, whereas like the other two back here that we didn't wet sand aren't completely smooth. You can still feel the print lines. Just look how smooth that is and on the body as well. And this rounds out the starters for Sun and Moon. So like I said, if you wanted to see any of these videos, check the little eye up in the corner and then links for the files are down in the descriptions of their respective videos. And now moving forward, I won't be doing exclusively Pokemon, but I definitely will do more Pokemon because it's something that I like and I know that's something that a lot of you like. Um, so if you have suggestions, things you want me to do, um, leave them down in the comment. I'm always open to that. And then make sure you follow me on Twitter because a lot of times I'll put out polls and stuff there that you can vote on what my upcoming projects will be. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like and then get subscribed below if you're not already. And then if you're wondering what to watch next, check the little eye up in the corner. I'll put a couple of related videos up there that you can check out. And that's it for me, guys. See you next time.